But we are back in downtown Savannah. Yes. We were here before with Lauren and some other friends, but it was kind of like getting dark and we were getting ready to go on a ghost tour. Mm -hmm. Didn't get to see everything. No. So we had to come back down and check it out. Um, there's a ton of history and stories mm -hmm. in downtown Savannah, so we'll try to show you as much of that as we can. Yes. And um, beautiful, perfect day. Gorgeous, 75. Can't yeah. ask for better weather. And down here with these, uh, with the shades, with the Spanish moss, it's just perfect walk around in the shade. And uh, humidity moved out, yes. so that's a plus. <laughs> so we're gonna take you um, through the park down here by the by River Street, and then we'll take you down by the river. And as we stumble across stuff and learn stuff, we'll show you too. Okay. Look how steep these stairs are. Yeah, they're steep. You don't want to go stumbling down those when you're drunk. You don't take the stairs. If you miss one step, you miss all the steps. <laughs> you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna touch them all real fast. Cause that's that's steep. Yeah, they're pretty though. <laughs> Well, now we're at the Coastal Discovery Museum. Yes. On Hilton Head, Honeyhorn. At Honeyhorn. At Honeyhorn. Yeah. Very cool out here. It is very cool. You can see that it's just everything out here is just beautiful. Gorgeous. And there's much cool stuff to see out here. Mhm. Mm uh, butterflies and swamps. Some of it we didn't get to see because they're setting up for a wedding. Yeah. So cut off half the trail. <laughs> 
So if you're out here, you got to see it and go see the rest of it and let us know how it is because we didn't get to go through that part of it. Yeah, there's a dragonfly fly pond, a uh, beehive. Cemetery. The cemetery, of course, and the whole the horse stables and all that. Yeah, we did get to go through the museum. It's open. Yeah. We did get to go out to this, the swamps area. We and went the out. butterfly yeah. habitat. So there is a lot of it that is open and yeah. very interesting stuff. There's some actual animals inside to see. Mm -hmm. So. Um, and the history of this part of the island. It's yeah. pretty cool. And the best part of it is, it's free. <laughs> Our fave. Yeah. So we'll show you that. Here we go. All righty. Right now we are standing in front of the oldest still standing structure on Hilton Head Island. Yes. Which it the happens oldest. to be a tomb. Yeah. Lucky us. <laughs> <laughs> and it's actually the tomb of Baynard. We just left the ruins. Yeah. Didn't do a lot of video out there because it wasn't a lot. There but we'll throw up there, yeah. some pictures overlaying while we're talking here for a second. But um, this is the site of uh, a lot of Revolutionary War soldiers. Yeah. Uh, some of them were pretty famous. Mm -hmm. A lot of militia. In yeah, South Carolina. Carolina militia. and it's so old out here that even like some of the tombstones are like grown into trees. Yes, it's so creepy. The uh, ironed-in gateworks is just it's kind of falling, falling apart, apart, and uh, it's just really creepy here. Yeah, well, I didn't look at every stone; not all of them were legible, anyway. But in the in the Kirk family area, I mean, it's as old as 1810. Yeah, as a death, it was an infant, but. 1810 a long time ago yeah yeah and um so crazy. this is the the zion historical cemetery mm -hmm. in case you are out at hilton head and you want to stop by that's the actual name of the place yeah it's right off the main road too and it's a very small cemetery yeah and it's not uh it's not super easy to find we just kind of stumbled upon it, it after we had already visited the ruins yeah so it all tied together mm -hmm. so it's pretty cool yeah i'm glad we did find it yeah it's cool all right let's go see what else we can get into all on right. hilton head <laughs> Well, now we are at the old Fort Jackson, which is crazy because we just came from the real mm -hmm. Fort Jackson in South Carolina. Now we're yeah. at the old Fort Jackson in Georgia. This place has been used in several conflicts. Oops. It wasn't always a fort. No. It was an artillery battery first during the Revolutionary War. And then they built this place in 1808. Mm -hmm. Look at you go, keep going. And then, 
They used it for the War of 1812. Yeah. And then they uh, used it again <laughs> in the Civil War. I don't know all the details. <laughs> we were talking about, she was reading the stuff on the oh, way yeah. over here and I retained about that much of it. More than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a cool place. They, uh, twice a day of the year, they fire the cannon mm -hmm. to, uh, to show you just what it was like for an actual uh, gun team. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was a gun team of one today. Yeah. <laughs> Firing it by himself. But it was still really cool. And it's crazy because it's right here on the waterway, which mm -hmm. is strategic for military. Well, that's what its purpose was for Jackson's uh, second system of coastal uh, protection. Yeah, to defend Savannah. Yeah. So strategically placed. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we'll show you around the old Fort Jackson. Here we go. Fire a cannon. <laughs> It'll be a big boom. <laughs> Just bring back memories. I'm always excited about things being fired and blown up. Yeah. <laughs> big fan. I don't think it's a live round, but <laughs> no. It'll make a big boom. Yes, it will. Load by detail. Load. Ramp. Make sure the round is nice and secure in the back. My hands to the front. March. Oh. Round number one. an exhausting two weeks. <laughs> Fun but exhausting. <laughs> we jammed so much stuff. Yeah. Into those two weeks it was ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Probably our busiest two weeks since we've been since on the road. Since we hit the road. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Because we had we just had so much going on. When we, we first got there it was kind of slow for the first day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then Lauren came to visit, brought her boyfriend, had a little trouble getting him on post. Mm -hmm. And, but the place you're staying at is really cool. It's on, on Hunter yeah. Army Airfield. It's Lots Island uh, RV Park. Mm -hmm. And we had like the best spot. We did have the best spot. Wide open out in front of us. The deer would come and hang out yeah. in the evenings. I miss seeing deer. And you attempted to go and throw them food <laughs> and <laughs> just scared the crap out of them. I did scare them. So that's... I figured at a campground, they're used to people. They were not, so... Uh, you could come out of the RV and you could look at them. That's, but you could not that's approach. That's it, though. Yeah. <laughs> One false step and they yeah. were gone. So they, they were gone. But it was really cool because Scout got to hang out and see the deer yeah. out the back window almost every night. Mm -hmm. So he was intrigued. Yes. At the deer. He was fascinated. So that was really cool. And we had another first that we had never seen before. When we were at the old Fort Jackson, mm -hmm. we saw an American bald eagle. Yeah. The first time in the, they've ever seen one in the wild. Yeah. Just and we've seen them overhead. In, yeah, we've seen them in zoos, and I wasn't really paying attention. I was filming. Yeah. And you were like, I think that's an eagle because you saw the white I head. I saw his head. Yeah. And then so I got out the um, the other camera and and was able to zoom in and yeah. get a couple and of pictures. Was. And it's really cool. He sat yeah. in the tree for forever, just yeah. sitting there hanging out, yeah. right there at the little at the bay there. And um, we got to we got to meet some old friends. Yep. That when we hadn't seen April in how long? 
12 or 13 years. It's been a long going time. Going on 13 years. Yes, we got to hang out with April. We got to see Ken and Shelly again. Yes. We saw them about this time last year in Oklahoma City. Yeah, it was about this Went time. Went to the basketball game with them, hung out with them. We got to meet back up with them again. We got to meet their meet kids. Meet their sons, yeah. This time, and we got to play some disc, disc golf. Disc golf, yes. <laughs> On a very interesting course for me. Yeah, and <laughs> you tried your very best mm -hmm. to lose some discs. Ah, oh, yes, I did. And then, so to wrap up the whole deal, we got ice cream. <laughs> that wraps up the whole deal. Well, that was one of the last things we did. The last night we hung out with April and yeah. Christy, we got, and it was a different kind of ice cream. That's why I mentioned it because it was made out of the liquid nitrogen. Yeah, nitro ice cream. Well, I think they take like the cream and the flavorings and the toppings and they put it all in there. And then they, and then they hit it with blast the, it with nitro. Yeah, and then they just scrape Keep it. Scrape in. So them. it's like a one big dip and dot. Yeah, pretty much because <laughs> it's 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 exactly what dip and dots are, but just not in dot form. Yeah, it's like I yeah. said, it's just one big clump of. Yeah, it is big. The same texture as dip and dot. Yeah, but yeah, since it's not like little bitty dots, it doesn't like stick all to your tongue. Your tongue yeah, it's just like it's got that. Weird. Yeah. Taste. But it was cool to get to watch them make it. Yeah. Never it seen cool. them make it before. Yeah, and and there was so much from both uh both of these weeks mm -hmm. that we didn't even get to put it all in in on in both videos. Yeah. There were some things that we didn't get to include, so we will put those on our Patreon page mm -hmm. uh in a couple of weeks. And so if you want to see what else we did in Savannah that we weren't able to put on on these videos, mm -hmm. go over and um Find us on Patreon. We'll yes. leave a link in the description below so you can find us over there. What was your favorite part? I know there's so much. But what was yeah. your favorite God. favorite part? I would say one of my favorite moments or times was the weekend Lauren and Aaron were with us because we were with Christy and April mm -hmm. and we did the ghost tour. I was going to say the exact same thing. <laughs> As the, our first ghost yeah. tour, so that was fun. It was and We really all cool. got to do it together. It was there uh, Christy and April's first time, too. Yeah, and they lived there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Most people don't do everything their city offers until yeah, somebody comes and visits. That's true. My favorite part by far was the with the ghost tour. And if you didn't see that, it's in last <laughs> week's video. So um, we'll put a link up here so you can go and look at that. But um, did it kind of like in a creepy B-roll kind of way. Um so if you're in Savannah, um, don't just watch our ghost tour and think that you got the full experience because they were telling so many great stories and all kinds of cool, interesting facts about and there, Savannah. Uh, there's different ghost tours. Yeah. There's a bunch of different ones that will see different things. Not Each tour doesn't show the same stuff, so you can't go, oh, I'll just pick one because yeah. you see the same. Each company has their own version yeah. of what they show you some are walking we chose the trolley because we didn't want to have to walk all over <laughs> yeah. downtown savannah after spending the whole day walking savannah yeah but i like the trolley one i thought that was cool yeah and our other friends who we met up with hollywood and rizzo uh they said that they have been on the ghost tour several times and it's different every different time different every time yeah so it kind of depends on probably the tour guide that you mm -hmm. get on what kind of information that they know and again whether you go on the trolley or the walking okay. or the there's a hearse one Yes, there is a hearse one. We can ride a hearse. Yes. <laughs> so there's all kinds of cool stuff. And really, Savannah is one of the most haunted mm -hmm. cities, cities in the yeah. United States. So it's almost a must when you come to Savannah is you to go learn about the paranormal activity. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of things have been filmed there. Yeah. Like the reality paranormal people yeah. shows. They've come And to as beautiful as Savannah is in the day, it is equally mm. creepy at night. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful creepy. Yeah. <laughs> I can't get enough beautiful creepy. <laughs> yeah. I loved it. If you had just like a little fog. Oh yeah, that would roll so in, good. that'd no. be awesome. That would have done me in. <laughs> yeah. But we really enjoyed our time in Savannah. We yeah. hope that you enjoyed hanging out with us in Savannah and over at Hilton Head for a weekend. And yeah. uh like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're gonna honor a fallen hero. We appreciate you watching and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.